hello and welcome everyone today in this class we are we will continue the lesson that we were discussing uh, class 9 that is india size and location so here we are with the second part of this class or this topic that we are discussing today we will discuss about india and the world the connection of india with the world at present also and from very past also at first if you see the first thing the location of India where India is located in respect with the world so the position of India is almost in the center of uh, is almost in the center of the known world that was uh, if we leave uh, Africa North America and South America then to the known world India is almost to the center of its location so uh, if we see the here this is India and other parts of the world in respect of the other parts of the world India is totally centrally located so through the ocean route ocean route means the uh, way or the road that one find out in the ocean to go from one country to other country or one continent to other continent with the help of ships so from the very past many ocean routes were discovered to come to India from different parts of the world so the coastline or the southern part of India that goes into the Indian Ocean here it is Indian Ocean so here this is India, Asia, Europe, Africa then here one country is there Japan this is towards the east of India then Australia and towards this there is Indian Ocean so India's connection with the western countries that is with the European countries and Africa it is through the ocean route and through this ocean route India has been connected with the, with the parts of the world it is easy for India to connect with the western countries and through the sea routes also it is easy for India to connect with the eastern countries like developed eastern countries that is Japan so with both western countries and eastern countries India can connect itself with the help of sea route because sea route is the most cheapest means of transport and for different kind of business activities for exporting and importing goods sea route is used more than that India is also connected with the other parts of the world through land route also so through the mountains there were different passes from where people from different parts of Asia and people from different parts of uh, Europe also people came through land route to India to visit India in the past so India's location shows that India is uh, such centrally located that from India it is very easy to connect with different parts of the world that is either we want to go to the countries of Asia either we want to go to the countries of um, Africa or Europe or Australia from everywhere it is very easy to connect from India next India's connection with the world has been continuing from the very past from very long time people from different parts of the world has been coming to India they have been coming to India no problem um, whether they came from the land route or through the sea route but the sea route uh, was found out very late it is a very new discovery I told you before that the first person who came to came to India through sea route or the first person to find out the sea route through to India was Vasco da Gama he came from Portugal Europe then he came through uh, this Africa this is known as Cape of Good Hope this part is known as Cape of Good Hope through Cape of Good Hope he found, found out a new route to India so uh, through sea route people came to India this is very late this is just before the Britishers came to India otherwise from other parts of the world through mountain routes there were roads from the very past when people they had been coming to India through land route these routes were a small small passes in uh, through the mountains so here these are some mountains and through the mountains there are small road that pass through two mountain or many mountain there zigzag way road that pass through this is known as a pass or somewhere it is also known as la that we know that bondila or chipkila or something like that these are actually mountain passes so this type of mountain passes where they are in, from the very past people who discovered these mountain passes um, along Himalaya then they said also there are mountains they pass they cross this mountain through these passes and came to India from the very past 
then they came for business some came for to conquer india because india was very rich at that time so this is the link between link of india uh, with the different parts of the world from the very first first is people from different parts of the world they came to india through the passes mountain passes and very lately people started to come to india through the ocean routes when it was found out by vasco da gama now with the connection of india with rest parts of the rest part of the world let me share with you a story let me say it to be a story only so why people from different parts of the world from the very past they want to came to india what was there in india why people only came to wanted to come to india only not any other parts of the world now it was before the belief the belief was there among the people that the world is flat before it was discovered that art is round it was believed that the art is flat so people they uh, were afraid of traveling from one place to another because they thought that if the world is flat like this if they go on go on go on then there will be an edge and at the end of that edge if they will cross that edge then they will fall into somewhere where they will fall they don't know so with their belief with that belief people used to prosper but people from different parts of the world they came to india and they have found out that india is a land of gold in many many travelers even uh, people who came to india they have written he written that india is a land of gold so people they mostly from europe at that time they were very poor they wanted to go to some other land in search of food in search of business in search of work in search of money so they when they heard that india is a land of gold now why those people they have written that india is a land of gold that is a different thing let us not discuss about it actually uh, what they want to mean was different but they have understood it, it uh, to be different that india is a land of gold so they thought that it, if they come to india from different routes or if they find a way to go to india then they can be very rich because in european countries basically those countries are very cold countries so surviving there was very difficult it was not good for land was not good for agriculture so uh, clothes were not easily available to even surpass the cold climate there they don't did not have the warm clothes to wear so they found out they tried to find out a way to come to india it is, it is said that necessity is the mother of invention when people is at most need then only they need to they can find out something new so because of their necessity to find out food for their children for themselves they have found out way to india to come to india so people from different parts they came to they started to come to india so when they found out that uh, the sea route vasco da gama then people from different parts they started to come to india through sea routes also through land routes also they had taken from here uh, agricultural product or whatever it may be but later on a person named uh, columbus i think everyone know who is columbus columbus was the person who for the first time discovered america but before that i told you that before pe people believed that the earth is flat if they will cross the limit then they will fall into somewhere they don't know where they will be, they will fall down so uh, they did not travel very far but for the first time um, a scientist have proved that the earth is round so uh, a person has gone and proved that around the earth that they have proved that the earth is round so uh, Magellan Magellan proved that the earth is round so um, one book is there also around the world is in 80 days he have in one uh, in 80 days he have um, proved that the earth is round before that many scientists like Galileo Galilei then Copernicus who have told that earth was round based on that theory only he went out from his place and he have again reached the same place for example if the earth is round if this is the round space if you start from this position if you go on the same direction then ultimately if the earth, this thing is round then ultimately you will come to the same place so for that only he proved that the earth is round when it was proved that the earth is round so people started to think it differently so far they have thought that if they go from this way towards the east then only they will reach india but now because the earth is round now if from here from europe if they go this way also from the other parts of the world coming one round they also they will reach india 
they found that they thought it like that so for the first time um, columbus went to find india actually he have gone or he came out from his country to find india and in north america <coughs> america was discovered by accidentally so he for the first time he came somewhere and a small island he found here somewhere a small island so this small island when he found here he thought that yes very uh, very soon only after traveling very little only i have reached india but what he have read in the book that the uh, type of people in india their skin color their hair style all things are different there he thought uh, he found out that the people in skin color hair style a uh, physic and uh, nose everything is not similar to what he have read in the book about india so later on he found that actually this is not india this is a 